every week I get great tweets uh, from my followers. I love hearing from you guys. Um, I didn't know what Twitter was going to do when it first came out. I didn't know what the point of it was since we already had Facebook and so many other social media sites. But I love how easy it is to communicate back and forth with all sorts of people. So I get messages from my fans. I'm sending messages to celebrities I'm a fan of. Uh, everybody has fun. And over the last week, there's been some great comments from many of you. I want to respond to some of them. So the first comes from Sam Blank. He says, where do you get your amazing novelty t-shirts from? Uh, some of the ones you wear on TYT are ace. He's talking about the shirts I think that I wear on TYTU. I don't often wear t-shirts on the main show uh, unless they tell me, oh, you're hosting tonight when I'm already in and wearing the t-shirt. I don't know if you guys know that happens, but I don't wear t-shirts on the main show on purpose. I just don't have a choice. Uh, but anyway, those t-shirts almost all come from shirt.woot.com. Uh, it's one of the Woot sites, so it sells one t-shirt every single day and only for one day. Um, and so I watch pretty much every day and hope to get a t-shirt that I'll like. Uh, at this point, I think that it's only fair that shirt.woot sponsor me in some way because I feel like I do so much free advertising for them. Uh, but so far, no money, unfortunately. Al Belso, uh, one of the guys that I tweet back and forth with probably more than anyone else, says, uh, is this the project which you mentioned concerning working on the weekend? If so, kudos to you for taking advantage of the studio. Uh, yes, I tweet about secret projects I'm working on all the time, but uh, last week I did tweet about this one. Uh, I am here on the weekend filming because there's literally no time during the week to do it. Uh, either other shows are filming, which is constantly happening. The studio is almost never being used or more likely I'm just busy doing other stuff. And so uh, for the time being at least, if I'm doing this show, you can understand that I'm coming in and doing it on the weekend, like making the graphics and producing the stories and everything. Um, so yeah, that's the one. And uh, it's happening again, so uh, hurrah. Uh, the third tweet I want to talk about is coming from Miles. He says, are you going to have similar stories to the main The Young Turks or different stories for your personal channel? Uh, that's actually a really good question. So I can answer for what the plan is right now. Uh, but understand that it's entirely subject to change. So as it stands right now, because of limited time, uh, most likely the stories I do are going to be ones that we've already planned to do on the Friday edition of the first hour of The Young Turks. That way I've already read the story, we've already made some graphics and things like that. I still need to make like, you know, the sidebars that you see. Uh, I have to make them because we wouldn't use them on Fridays. Uh, but I expect that those that will be the way it is. Uh, Assuming that the show goes forward, I will probably be supplementing with interesting stories that, uh, that I'm into. There are definitely subjects that I like way more than Jank or Ben or Michael, and so I'll suggest stories and they'll get shot down. Uh, so this is a good place to talk about those. And uh, while because of that, excuse me, uh, because of that, I'll be doing mostly political stories since they're stories that were made for the first hour. Um, I do also want to do some of the lighter stories, more second hour type stories. Uh, stuff that doesn't really fit in the first hour, but doesn't fit in TYTU. I want to have a place to talk about those. It'll probably end up being this place. Finally, there's a quote from Lucas, who works at the Young Turks. We were talking about um, uh, the, the drone warfare, the expansion of Chinese drones, by the way. Uh, didn't get to that last week, but it was an interesting story. He says, the more time goes by, the more the future feels like it's going to look like the Matrix, destroyed planet surveilled by killer robots. Uh, that actually sounds like that Tom Cruise movie that just came out. Uh, and it sounds awesome. Uh, I don't want the world to be destroyed, but if it did, robotic apocalypse? I mean, Terminator was pretty sweet, and there's always going to be that resistance, you know, jumping over wrecked cars and stuff like that with laser guns that they made somehow. Uh, there are worse ways for the world to end. Anyway, uh, so those are the tweets that I wanted to spotlight this week. Uh, if you want to see yourself on a future edition of the Weekly Roundup, you know, just tweet me, and hopefully I'll remember them. I love talking to you guys, uh, and when you say something interesting, I want to give you credit on the show. Uh, so that's it for this week.